soldiers are commonly warned against forming emotional connections with the dogs that they serve with in the field. But for one particular sergeant, that advice proved impossible to follow, thanks to all he and his dog been through together. Jason Bowes found himself deeply attached to his slobbery sidekick. Unfortunately, circumstances meant that the Dream Team eventually went their separate ways. But that wasn't the end of the tale. Man and dog were ultimately reunited, and their meeting was a moment that Bose had been looking forward to for years. The object of Bose's affections is Sela, a handsome chocolate brown Labrador, better known to her handler as Cece. The pooch bravely served alongside Bose in Iraq for an impressive five years. Little wonder then that the two formed such an unbreakable bond. But although Cece had experienced more things than many humans, it has remained to be seen whether she would remember her beloved handler. Bose and Cece's spell in Iraq certainly meant that they'd been through some extreme situations together. While on duty, Cece was responsible for sniffing out bombs and helping to prevent potential dangers on the front line. Using her keen sense of smell, Cece helped safeguard the soldiers from countless dangers. Cece's enforced wanderlust has helped her tick off more places than the average person. Speaking to reporter Leon Hendricks on 24 Hour News 8, Bose proudly reeled off the countries that his hound has served in. As one of thousands of dogs on active service, Cece has been deployed in Germany and Kuwait, as well as Iraq, and has enjoyed her fair share of harrowing adventures. Sadly though, the duo's working relationship came to an abrupt halt in 2012, after Bose suffered an injury, the army sergeant was flown out of Iraq while Cece continued with her duties in the region. Brokenhearted, the sergeant returned to his home in Michigan without his cuddly companion. Like Shaggy, without Scooby-Doo, Bose found himself at a loss. Although Bose told 24-Hour News 8 that he and Cece enjoyed a great relationship, the dog remained the property of the army. As a result, it looked like the pair would never see each other again, but as the saying goes, Good things come to those who wait. And some two years later, Bose, now retired from the military, received some encouraging news. Bose found out that his erstwhile companion was also being retired from the armed forces. It was the glimmer of hope that the ex-soldier had been waiting for. Could he and Cece rekindle their special relationship? It wasn't certain that Cece would be returned to the States, but Bose set about seeing what he could do. Luckily, help arrived in the form of the American Humane Association and Mission Canine Rescue. Both organizations aided their support and before long, Cece was headed home to the States and her master was there to greet her. With bated breath, Bose waited patiently at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. An army of reporters stood by too, but would Cece remember her old handler? The moment of truth had arrived. Footage of the reunion shows Cece being led through the airport by a man in a high-vis vest. Then, as soon as Bose shrieks, Cece, the dog's pace quickens, and her paws struggle for grip on shiny floor surface. Military decorum is cast aside as the separated pair greet each other like long-lost friends. Cece bounds into Bo's arms and showers him with slobbery kisses as her tail wags with frantic enthusiasm. The pictures paint a thousand words. Clearly, Cece's memory is alive and kicking. Bose told Hendrix at 24 Hour News 8 about his and Cece's happy reunion. I just went to the ground because I knew she was coming at me, he said, and I just called her name and it was awesome. It was an experience shared by all present, including the cameramen who were equally excited. It was pretty amazing, Bose affirmed. In his report for 24 Hour News 8, Hendrix described Cece as a dog that is unknowingly, in so many ways, extraordinary. The reporter went on to ask Bose, Given her skill set, did you have her once over your home, just in case? Bose enjoyed the joke and reacted with a chuckle saying, No, but that's funny though. On a more serious note, Bose has no plans to make Cece return to work. While the ex-soldier is interested in helping veterans adjust to civilian life, Cece has a life of luxury to look forward to. Bose confirmed that she's going to be living the couch life from now on, a prospect that would make any dog's tail wag. It doesn't look like Cece will be on the couch for long though, as Bose plans to make the most of their time together. Speaking to 24 Hour News 8, Bose told Hendrix about his plans with Cece now that she's back in his life. I can go anywhere I want, he said. 
I could take her wherever I want, and it's awesome. If Cece could speak, she might use the word awesome to describe her time with Bose, too. Footage from the 24-hour News 8 report shows the dog interacting with her human. The pair showed how in sync they were as Bose ran through a series of commands, all of which Cece immediately obeyed. Sit resulted in the dog doing just that, while Paw saw Cece offer Bose each of her front legs in turn. Cece's loyalty was plain to see, something that Hendrix certainly picked up on. Now Cece will focus on what she seems to enjoy doing the most, being man's best friend. His best friend, the reporter said. Bose and Cece's story isn't the first time that someone in the military and their animal have been reunited. Another example was that of Tracy McKeithern, a reserve sergeant in the U.S. Army, and her dog, Irby. While serving in Iraq as a combat photographer, McKeithern came across a white stray dog whom she fell in love with her immediately. That dog was Irby. The hound was covered in scratches, but McKeithern and her colleagues took care of her until she was fit and healthy again. However, it wasn't in the plan to send Irby back to the U.S. with McKeithern. But that was before Puppy Rescue Mission stepped in. Funds were raised to fly Irby to the U.S., but then McKeithern was suddenly returned to active duty. So while the pooch landed on American soil, her new owner jetted off on another mission. Thankfully, this deployment was a short one, and when McKeithern returned 67 days later, she was greeted by a familiar face. Waiting for her at Tampa International was Irby, and just like Cece, Irby hadn't forgotten her soldier. The airport filmed the tender moment, and the pair were brought together once again. The video shows Irby held back on a leash, standing steady until McKeithern shows up. The soldier then drops to her haunches, and Irby showers her with snuffles and kisses, eventually knocking McKeithern off her knees. Sharing the moment with the world on Twitter, McKeithern wrote, I think the reason we're born with two hands is so we can pet two dogs at once. Both videos of the reunions received an incredible reception on social media. Commenting on the CC footage, one user wrote, This joy is what they both deserve. Thank you for serving our country. Irby's story also encouraged widespread adoration, with one comment saying, So glad that you and Irby are both home safely. She is a beautiful dog. Thanks to you and others who rescue such animals. For now, Cece and Bose are enjoying being back together again. As the old adage goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And for this dynamic duo, that couldn't be truer. Judging by the scenes of unbridled joy and affection evident on the homecoming video, it's safe to say that Cece and her owner are living a blissful existence back home in Michigan. Talk about friends for life.